Indonesia is the largest archipelago in the world and can be found in the heart of Southeast Asia. Its unique geographic location provides Indonesia with an abundant source of natural resources, making this country a major contender in many fields, including health. Several years ago, the availability of advanced medical equipment in Indonesia was not as broad as it is today. The only form of treatment available for patients with brain disorders was conventional brain surgery or lobotomy. Now, Gamma Knife Radio Surgery is available in Indonesia. Gamma Knife Center Indonesia or GKCI is functioning at Siloam Hospital's Lipo Village, Tangerang since 2012. Gamma Knife Center Indonesia, Siloam Hospital Sleepo Village is the first perfection-based radio surgeries program in Southeast Asia and the only one in Indonesia to provide Gamma Knife radio surgery for patients. Gamma Knife is the latest standards in non-invasive radiation surgery for brain tumors, functional disorders, and artery venous malformations. With the presence of Gamma Knife Center Indonesia, it is likely to establish Indonesia as a major healthcare destination for patients with brain disorders in desperate needs of gamma knife ready surgery treatment, especially in Southeast Asia and surrounding regions. Gamma knife perfection is the latest generation of stereotactic radiation surgery utilizing a high level of accuracy with no discomfort and protections against radiations to normal brain cells for all patients. Gamma Knife Perfection is the first Gamma Knife unit in Indonesia and Southeast Asia. I'm sure this technology will bring new hope to the patient population in Indonesia suffering from brain disorders. And talking to the technology of this machine, the whole procedure has two main components. One is stereotactic imaging and the second one is stereotactic treatment delivery. There is no need for the patient to get hospitalized after the surgery. The patient could come to the hospital on the day of the procedure, undergo this MRI and treatment procedures and go back to home after completing the treatment on the same day. Talking about the science of this technology, this has 192 cobalt 60 sources which are arranged like a headband in eight sectors could deliver a very large dose of radiation in a few minutes without damaging the normal brain. So this is something I would say that a revolution in the treatment of brain tumors, especially for treating the tumors which are in the deeper part of the brain. We have been made fractionated radiosurgical treatment at this center and it was very successful in delivering the best treatment with minimal complications to the patients. In gamma knife radio surgery, over 190 narrow beams of radiation are focused on the targeted tumor or other brain deformation. Hence, the quantity of radiation being passed through the normal brain cells is much lower, yet has a high enough dose of radiation on the target location where all of the directed beams are focused on. The accuracy of gamma knife ready surgery is in sub-millimeters, so it does not damage the surrounding uninfected cells and in some rare cases only causes minor side effects. Compared to conventional radiation treatments or conventional surgery, this is assured by a multidisciplinary treatment approach comprises clinicians and clinical scientists. Gamma knife therapy can generally be done in one day. There is no need for inpatient care. No anesthesia, no ventilators, and no scars, which are usually associated with conventional surgery. It can be said that gamma knife ready surgery is bloodless surgery. The first step of the procedure is preparation. In this procedure, patients are attached to a frame for their head. This is for stereotactic localization as well as to prevent the head from moving when undergoing the procedure. The following process is stereotactic imaging. This process is where a team of doctors determine the size, position, and shape of the target that needs to be treated. The following procedure is delineating a tumor or target by a neurosurgeon and those planning by a medical physics specialist. The final treatment plan will be reviewed by a team of neurosurgeons, radiation oncologists, and medical physicists when a schedule for radiosurgery has been decided. The process can then be executed. 
When the treatment is complete, patient could go back to their home on the same day. But the patient's condition is regularly checked for the next few months to ensure there is no remission. Gamma Knife Radio Surgery pertains to quality assurance, where each process requires systematic planning to ensure the Gamma Knife procedure corresponds to the patient's need, so that they are content with the level of treatment received and retaining the quality of the whole procedure. Gamma Knife Radio Surgery can also be conducted without the use of the frame which is referred to as frameless radio surgery. This is generally done if the size of the tumor is relatively large or close to a very sensitive critical structure. Gamma Knife Center is the only center in Southeast Asia and broad experience of treating large tumors with frameless radio surgery in multiple fraction. Gamma Knife itu suatu alat yang dedicated khusus untuk brain. Suatu penyakit tertentu, misalnya suatu penyakit uh, tumor jinak otak yang kecil volumenya dan letaknya namanya dalam istilah uh, Inggris itu deep seated, istilah di dalam. Dalam sekali artinya kalau kita membuka dengan operasi tradisional maka akan banyak sekali ruginya uh, otak yang normal dan menimbulkan kerusakan. Maka pada uh, kelainan seperti itu gamma nerve jadi sumber uh, jadi suatu prosedur yang utama. Ini yang disebut dengan uh, minimal invasif, radio surgery. For example, Miss Vera Dewi, age 45, this mother of three children underwent gamma knife radio surgery in September 2013 to treat meningioma that she had been diagnosed with. Before undergoing gamma knife radiotherapy, the size of the tumor in Miss Vera Dewi's brains was 1.22 cc, and a year after undergoing radiotherapy, the tumor only shrank to 1.08 cc. Gamma knife radio surgery is different from other tumor therapies. The process is fast, accurate, and leaves no scars on the head like conventional surgery. A day after undergoing radio surgery, Miss Vera Dewi was able to go back to her daily routine, like playing table tennis with her children and even continue with her hobby of sewing. Saya bersyukur bisa mendap uh, bisa mencoba teknologi gamma knife itu. Jadi saya merasa uh, mempunyai harapan untuk uh, untuk sembuh dan bisa melaksanakan aktivitas saya seperti biasa. Saya masih bisa beraktivitas seperti biasa dengan bermain pingpong bersama anak saya. Gamma Knife Center Indonesia, Center of Excellence in Radio Surgery, of its located at Siloam Hospital Slipo Village. For more information, please contact 021-546-0055, extension 2421, or 2422, cell phone 081-951-0080, or email info at gamma Can also visit the website www.gammanifeindonesia.com. The first perfection-based stereotactic radiosurgeries program in Southeast Asia.